While the groundwork commenced, a trench was excavated for the front wall footing. This is a 500 by 600 millimeter footing for a dwarf boundary wall. As utility mains run under pavements and have been known to snake across boundaries into private land, the trench is checked regularly with a cable avoidance tool. The two ends of the trench are dug out deeper and wider to accommodate for the two end piers. Simple removable pegs mark the height of the footing exactly. C25 concrete is mixed on site and poured straight into the trench. After a couple of days of drying, the brickwork can be run parallel to the building. It's a double skin stretcher bond to match the house. Engineering bricks are used for the first course and these will sit below the finished ground level. These act as a simple damp proof course and help reduce moisture being drawn up into the wall that could lead to efflorescence in the future. Efflorescence is an unsightly white calcium that can build up on the faces of brickwork and it's encouraged by moisture. The two end piers are built first, being plumbed up from the first layer of brickwork. These are simple one and a half brick piers built into the wall. In the middle, a hole is drilled down 100 millimeters into the footing and inserted as a piece of rebar. This will increase the strength and reduce any movement if the pier ever were to be nudged by the bumper of a car. As the brickwork goes off, it's faced with a brick jointer before a soft brush to get the finish. With the piers in place, the bricks can be run in in courses with a string line. Brick ties are installed and the second skin can be backed up behind the first skin. A brick on edge is then laid on the top to tie the two skins together and finish the wall. The piers are then filled with concrete and the end caps installed. These consist of a brick on edge with tile creasing detail. This style of wall is in keeping with the rest of the properties on the street while the brickwork is matched to the house. Once finished the ironmongers can install the railings between the piers. With the front wall installed the project is now ready for the next phase which is installing the driveway edgings. Remember Always follow the product's most recent installation guidelines and not videos on YouTube. If unsure or need advice, contact the manufacturer's technical support team. They're there to help and a correct installation will ensure you maintain the product's warranty. Good luck.